så har vi fått besök i studion av Wycliffe Schultz. Yeah. Och det blev lite klädsnack direkt istället. You're not allowed to drop the names because... Mr. Wycliffe Schultz, welcome to Swedish TV. Thank you, it's good to be here. Do you think I, we're all dressed? I'm not going to drop no names, but this suit... At first I came, I said, man, the guys are wearing the same suits. Then I said, hold on. I got this same suit. It's a Swedish designer. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. Yes, I have to say, if I'd known, you know, we could have did the whole thing <laughs> and then created a new version of the Fujis with the four of us. I had her singing uh, Killing Me Softly. Yeah? One time, you know, we could have got her on. <laughs> it would have been great. <laughs> I think we have a plan. I have to go to that one, so, well, oof. Maybe you could come back another day with the suit. Yeah, yeah, I'll come uh, back with the perform? suit. And we rock the performance. Yeah. You, you're gonna do Lauren's part. Oh yeah, I know yeah. it by heart. Strumming my pain. One time. One time. Are right, you good, baby? You yeah. good? We got it. <laughs> okay, so let's steer this over to uh, soccer yes. or, or music. Football. Yeah, yeah football. You call it football? Yeah, call it football. I'm from Haiti. Originally, yeah. I was born in Haiti. I didn't leave Haiti till I was 10 years old. So football is just the natural way of life yeah. for us. Yeah. Definitely. So how much have you been following this World Cup? I mean, I follow the World Cup and I also follow when it's not the World Cup. You know, I've been hands on in this World Cup, uh, saw what happened to Brazil. Um, right now we're moving towards uh, Argentina and Germany. Um, a lot of fights going on in my camp, mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, Brazil tomorrow, mm -hmm. the, the game versus the Netherlands. Um, so I've been really following. You know, Haitians themselves feel like they're Brazilian. You know what I mean? So when that happened, um, I think this World Cup is a toss in the air. Like, yeah. it can go either way, you know? But Germany is a very tough team. Mm -hmm. Just yes, a short translation. The first där börjar jag tänka inte ens översätta för att det handlar om kläder och lite kostymer och sånt och det kan vi kan vi ta sen. Men sen berättar eh, Wacklif Sean om sitt ursprung från Haiti och att fotbollen som man kallar för fotboll och inte för soccer som de gör i hans nuvarande hemland och USA eh, alltid har varit en del av hans liv och eh, att det här är ett VM där det känns som det kan gå precis hur som helst. Vi står det så ungefär. Men lite åt eh, Tysklands håll. Ja. Ja. Right? Right. Yeah. I, you know, you're, Swedish, you're not going to leave me left out. People. I'm teaching y'all how to rap. Y'all going to teach me some Swedish. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Teach uh, me like some basic, because I love stock. Hey, just, who murder? Hey, who murder? Yeah. How you How you doing? Hey, who murder? Yeah. Like who, that? Who, no. That's uh, that sounded sick. Uh, <laughs> uh, who who murder? Huh? Okay. Fyr bakslinja. Fyr bakslinja. Yeah. That's a good word to. Just in the rap. Jag ska bara berätta varför Wycliffe Sean är här. Det kan ju någon ha börjat undra med här långt. Han ska alltså uppträda efter finalen. Är du gonna perform here? Yes. Yes. To, we're closing the World Cup. Um, the performance is me, Carlos Santana, Shakira is going to be very big. This is good, great for me because I reunite with Carlos Santana. The last time I was with him was when I wrote this song, Maria, Maria, ba -da -bum -bum. Yeah. you know, and Shakira, my good friend. Um, last time I was with her was bam, 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 bam. So it's, it's going to be a great World Cup and, and great drumming, a lot of samba bands. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're in Brazil, a lot of great culture. Okay, we'll listen uh, for a few seconds to this song. Yeah. So how much do you know about... Uh, I know you have great connections with Sweden. Yes, I mean, well, naturally... Um, I, I gear towards Sweden a lot as a musician. I hosted the MTV European Awards. I've been to the biggest shows in, 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 in Sweden, you know? So I, I always, I, this is great because I wanted to be on TV to have a request to the Swedish people. I've been going to Sweden for such a long time. My new album's being done in Sweden. So it's a natural thing for me. So I didn't just start going to Sweden. When I was going to Sweden, Avicii was maybe like, seven or eight years old or six years old. So uh, how do I get a, a passport? How can y'all make me like an honorary Swede? How can this happen? 
maybe you, maybe <laughs> Andrea knows. At me. Yeah, he knows can... the big shots in, yeah, in yeah. Sweden. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so shout out to the big shots, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. I've been there long enough. I, maybe I could get, like, y'all could work out a Haitian Swedish thing for me. Mm -hmm. We what would try, think? huh? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. We, we, we... Y'all want to ask some, some, some strings. Some strings. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I think yeah. about uh, Swedish uh, football? Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, of course y'all won uh, the, the European Cup, um, followed that. Um, uh, when we're in Sweden, I have a... Uh, we won my... the European Cup? You no, mean we get, got the board? Long time ago? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm not talking well, now. You're, you're, yeah, I'm talking you're about then. Hey, that's, that's, that's good. He knows. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah, one eight thing. Eight to two and eight to seven. Yeah, one thing about me, I remember I told you, I don't follow football now. I'm mm -hmm. saying, like, we follow the leagues, you know? Yeah. Um, the reason why I follow the leagues is also, like, in Haiti or the Caribbean, a lot of kids from very young age, they get taken to France, to different places to play mm -hmm. for different leagues. So you always have your eyes on the yeah. leagues and stuff. So, yeah, no, definitely. We followed that um, for a very long time, just the idea of the history of football. Mm -hmm. So, um, of course, we follow not only um, what y'all did in Sweden, we also, Pele also, mm -hmm. you know, started his whole vibe out there, too. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. that, that, that exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, you know, once again, like, I'm a <laughs> footballer, yeah. not a, you know, so... Um, that's why I was like, so I was like, no, nah, no, nah, we ain't gonna call it soccer. No, no, like, no, no, that's me, good. me, me, and my American friends. We, have, but hey, mm. the U.S. team. Yeah. Mm. What do you think about it? Like them? The U.S. team. <laughs> listen, guys, this is important. The U.S. team did great mm. because no one really was expecting the U.S. team to go this far. Uh, like. Maybe. Mm -hmm. The U.S. team really played with heart. Mm -hmm. I really think like they come back four years, um, four years from now, mm -hmm. and um, I think they're going to really make a difference. I mean, the goalie is beyond incredible, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But I, I think I think um, it, they really gave a good performance. And you know, a lot of the African mm -hmm. teams, Algeria, mm -hmm. Nigeria, Ghana, you know, some, mm -hmm. some good stuff went on. But not Cameroon. But when you're saying Actually, I was just talking to my friend mm -hmm. from Cameroon. Yeah, yeah. Not happy. No. No, he's not happy. No. But now Nigeria and Algeria was moving, yeah, you know? Right. It was very exciting. I was blowing up my Twitter when I was going <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, you said that you felt a little bit, little bit like uh, Brazilian. So what were your feelings uh, at 1-7 against Germany? Were you, were you starting to sing your song, you know? Someone please call 911. Someone <laughs> please call 911. Tell him I... <laughs> yeah. So, so um, with... Um, it was sad, you know? I. I you know, because football has to be competitive to enjoy it. Mm. It comes after a while. We love this sport because it's competitive. Like, we've been, ah, you know? It, you know, we don't like... It, once things start looking kind of like a team is getting massacred and butchered, you know, it, 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 was, it was a pretty sad thing, mm. you know? But, um, you know, Germany is tough. Mm. What's your guess for the finals? Um, my guess for the finals is... Um, is I'm going for Germany. Now, a friend of mine, before his prediction, before it even got this far, he calls himself like a algorithm guru of football. <clears throat> so uh, he's like, you know how I know who's, and this is before, um, before this anything happened. So um, I was like, okay, who are, you, who are you predicting? You know? So Germany clearly is just every player is just a player in Germany, you know what I mean? So Messi is incredible. Mm. On the other side, the goalie's incredible. But Germany, all of the guys are playing. It's like they're playing as a team. So mm. that's really, you know, my prediction. Now my, my management, they're, they're going on the other side. Okay. Mm. So it's a fight. Okay, we'll see. Yeah. We'll talk about, uh, more about these finals in, in, in a while. Uh, thank you. Cool, cool. Thank you for having <laughs> thank me. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and next time thank we'll you. have the same suits. And next time I'm going to rock the yeah. suit. Yeah. All right? And you're going to have a Swedish passport. That's right, Swedish yeah. passport. Talk to the big guys. <laughs> and we're making a record, right? That's right. <laughs>